Hey there y'all, Disney D Prince here today. Today I'm unboxing some of my older dolls that are, eh, in boxes that I'm not entirely pleased with. So today we have The King and I. Now, if you guys remember this movie, then we should be friends because this one was kind of obscure. It was not, it was supposedly based off the Rodgers and Hammerstein uh, musical, The King and I. And you cannot find this movie streaming anywhere. I have looked. It is on YouTube, but none of the streaming platforms, you can't buy it, I don't think. And it is just kind of a very bizarre kind of thing. But see, we have Anna and the King. And again, this is one of those situations where the guy doll is immediately recognizable and the girl doll looks a little bit just like a Barbie in a different dress. But this is the big two pack and it is, it has a bass and it says, listen to the music of Shall We Dance? And they really dance. Two replaceable w AA batteries included. And so you see the kids a little on the box art. This is actually the box that's in the best shape. And I got this as a really good deal on eBay. And now let's look at the back. So you see it really well lit in this back and it does look really cute. And then we have the other four dolls that were produced. So we have Musical King and Rama, which is the uh, Panther, Musical Anna and Princess Ying, and she's in her school teacher outfit there, Musical Prince with Royal Pendant, and Musical Top Ten and Tusker, which is a little elephant. And on the back it does say, make the music, make the magic of the music come alive. In the faraway kingdom of Siam, the stubborn but well-intentioned king rules his people with wisdom and strength, but the evil Kralahome has other plans for Siam and plots to overthrow the king and claim the throne for himself. Adding to the king's dilemma is the crown is the royal crown prince who has broken years of time-honored tradition by falling in love with Tuptim, the beautiful servant girl from Burma. Moved by their undying love, Anna and the outspoken English <laughs> Anna the outspoken English school teacher hired to instruct the royal children sets out to convince the king to open up his heart, let go of his headstrong ways and prove to the world that he is indeed a most fair and modern ruler. A timeless treasure filled with laughter, music, and romance. The King and I is a heartwarming musical you'll never forget. That a lot of people forgot. <laughs> and down here it does say, uh, Now you can relive all the magic of the King and I with Anna and the King as you make them twirl, slide, and spin across the palace floor to the enchanting music of Shall We Dance. So this one is the biggest box and you can see she's got her ball gown, her 18th century, no, 19th century because it's the 1800s ball gown. And you can see in there, kinda, he's got shoes, but his bare feet are on there right now. So you have to put them on. But I like his outfit a lot more than I like hers. So. Let's look at the other two dolls and then we'll uh, unbox them. Because that one looks like it's gonna be the hardest to open. So this one is uh, Musical Top 10 and Tusker. And see we have the little uh, elephant guy down here. He's pretty cute. Her little slippers back there. She really sings. I really sing, I have dreamed. Three replaceable button cell AG13 batteries included. No clue where she's supposed to sing from, but I'm guessing you push a button on her back or something like that. To make the magic come alive, the magic of the music come alive, press the button on uh, Tupton's back. So yeah, if I just read the box, I'd know where she came from. So let's see. Oh, what a shock. The batteries from 1997 no longer work. That's okay. I don't have those batteries in stock. <laughs> and then uh, 
it's the same description as the previous one. We do get some really pretty photographs of her well staged. Uh, again, there's our other dolls that are in the series. And then a uh, instructional how to put it, how to make the button talk. <laughs> And so, as you can see, her box is kind of in messed up condition. I think I kind of overpaid for this one, but after getting such a good deal on the King and the Anna doll, on the Anna and the King doll, I wanted to get this one, and I wanted to get the Prince, because they were the main, like, they were the B couple in the movie. So, they were cute. Now, this is made, these dolls are made by Playmates. So, it's a very 90s movie. But this was actually, when was this? This was not, uh, oh, this is 1999, actually, 1999, not 1997. But as you can see, there's a little more sturdy connections in the back. I may have to get my nippers out to cut through those without damaging the dolls. And then our last one is in kind of the worst condition box. And this is the Prince, again, Immediately identifiable. His outfit is great. He's got the royal pendant in there. It does look like he has a stand, which is actually really nice. Uh, they actually might all have stands, which is kind of cool. I didn't think that was a uh, thing. And supposedly he sings. Nope. The batteries from 1999 do not work. That's okay. Apparently the mirror is a comb also. Sorry about this, my camera decided to fall back on me for some reason. Okay, it's secure. And we do have the same artwork and the same descriptions, so. It's a comb and a mirror, too. That's kind of fun. So, I am going to grab my nippers really fast. Okay, y'all. I'm back. Went and grabbed my nippers. So that way we can make this a little bit faster. So let's see. It's just one little thing of tape. It's holding the box at this point. But it is one of those irritating boxes that also has tape all around it because you have to open it like a book for some reason. So let's see if we can get this. Why are you not coming out? I was like, there was tape on the inside, that's why. Because that makes sense, playmates. So it does just come right out of that outer shell casing, which is kind of nice. Again, we have his cool little stand. He does have his little sandals. And we've got the little uh, pendant in there also. And he's really, really like an identifiable easy doll. Uh, his hair is a little sticky, which means he, I may have to give him a wash later, but. We will take this tape off the back with how to replace his batteries because I do want to replace his batteries because he sings and I'd like to hear him sing, honestly, and see what it sounds like now. Okay, so again, we're going to take off all this tape, which surprisingly really came off pretty easily. For how much of it there was. But yeah. Okay. And we still got a little bit down here. Now the problem with putting all this tape on your dolls to keep them nice and pretty like this is that sometimes this uh, adhesive on the tape bleeds through. That's how you wind up with sticky dolls. But it's okay. And then just over time, like this is, oh God, 1999. 
We're in, uh, this is a 21 year old doll. This doll can legally drink. So, I mean, it's, uh, it's understandable. But it's gonna be a little bit stickier than we would like. Okay. So, the back is a mirror. And the comb does come out just like that. Kind of cool. Kind of a weird feature. But again, I'm all for uh, toy companies putting in the extra effort. But. So it just comes off like that. There is a little bit of discoloration right up here. And I'm not sure what that's from. But. It's not part of the doll, so it's fine. So here we have these, these are zip ties. You don't really find these very often in dolls, but that was what I wanted to uh, make sure came off pretty easily with the nipper. The rest are just twist ties that we can just do like that and uh, just nip off the back so that way we don't have to uh, mess with them. Like that. And we just nip off at one side, nip off at the other. And he comes out right like that. Now he does have a very pretty background, but it's not anywhere to where it's uh, usable for something after the fact. So here he is. He does have some discoloration in the vinyl on his legs. It's not super noticeable, but there is just kind of obvious yellowing. And I would have to find some way to put those on. Okay, is this actual snaps? Oh, it is. Huh, well that's nice. These are actual snaps on these uh, sandals that we have for him. So you don't have to just kind of force his feet through, which is kind of what you have to do on a lot of dolls. So they didn't skimp out on the accessories and the costuming, because this is decent material. It's, uh, it's really well done. I like these pants, actually. Now he doesn't have the hip articulation other than back and front. He does have the 90s snap knees, his arms, he has two-way articulation at the shoulder, and the arms are not articulated at the elbows or the wrist. He does have an articulated neck though, which is kind of nice, but his head is very sticky, and I think it's actually the paint coming off, so I'm going to be very careful with him because I don't want to clean paint off of him until I am absolutely sure that I'm done with him. There we go. So his stand does hold him, so that's great. It's nice when they come with a stand. It's just a little, little stand, which I haven't used these for Ken dolls before. And uh, I'm kind of intrigued now that I know that they can work like that. And I might order some of them because it doesn't uh, cut the line of the doll so much. So now we're going to open uh, Tuptim, which is his uh, servant girl, love of his life, becomes a princess. She was from Burma, which I think is not the uh, correct term to use anymore. But this was 1999, and world politics evolve. And we are probably going to encounter the same issues that we did getting her, getting him out, with this side being taped in, taped in on top him. Not helpful, playmates. Ugh, 
Okay. She came out finally. Okay. And she's got a very nice face. Uh, we're gonna take her out and see what she looks like all the way. She does also have a stand, so I'm excited all of these came with stands. Um, so looking at that, I'm thinking that these were probably in the uh, 20 to 30 dollar range when they came out. And if they were under 20 back then in 1999, then I would be kind of surprised because these were not just regular dolls, they were singing dolls, all of these. They actually did not produce non-singing dolls, which I kind of find funny. Usually it's the other way around, even for movies that are musicals. But this one, which I would argue is probably one of the lesser animated musicals of its time, uh, really did not skimp on their musical dolls. Let's see. Okay, again, she does have a zip tie for around her waist, which is kind of bizarre, really. Because it re it's very visible from the outside of the box. Uh, we're just gonna snip these off because I don't feel like undoing them, really. We're just gonna go like that for the uh, Tintin or whatever his name is, uh, Tuscan Tusker. And he's super cute. He's just a hard molded vinyl. Um, he's hollow. Uh, he does hold little flowers. I'm gonna set him back there for now. So we get these out of there. And take her shoes out. She does have these little pointed slippers. They're actually a kitten heel, but I think in the movie they were supposed to be flats, but we'll see. And we're just gonna snip down there to free her feet. Snip up here to free her arms. And a little bit up here to free her hair. And now she didn't. Okay, so that works. So she's actually uh, pretty well preserved in her outfit. Her dress doesn't close entirely, but that's just, you know older velcro but she's very pretty i love this dress the uh, it is just a very and it's a stretchy fabric actually which i didn't think it was going to be when i was looking at it but it is a stretchy fabric and i always love that a little bit with dolls just because you know they take a little more play and uh you don't have to worry about them quite as much. She does have these irritating little fabric pulls on the inside that don't want to come out really well, but she looks good. Her arms have a little bit of that yellowing in the vinyl, but again, she's got this up and down. She's got the knees and she's on her stand. So let's take her off her stand real fast. See if I can show her legs. Ugh. Her legs, her vinyl is very sticky. She was obviously not stored in a uh, in a cool climate before I got her, but she is very pretty. Let me get the uh, shoes out of that little uh, baggie that they're in. Now I can put her shoes on her. Now she doesn't have flat feet, it's a little bit upsetting because she's got flat shoes, but let's just pop those little shoes on her. And she's very cute. But you can actually make her feet look like she's flat in the stands 
and it gets covered up pretty easily back there. So that is Tuptim and Tusker, who is a little short for me to be showing you. What could I set him on? Anything? No, it doesn't really matter. He's back there. It doesn't really matter. He's back there. You see him eventually. So now we're going to grab the Anna and the King. And I did go and grab some. Okay. So it makes sounds. It is not music. But I am intrigued to see if replacing the batteries makes that better. Because I did find some AA batteries that I have just sitting around. So we are going to try and see how easily this box opens. I doubt it's going to be easy. This is one of the higher end. This is probably... This set was probably $40 when it came out, if not $50, but I doubt they priced the main characters that far out of the, uh, out of the options. But she, they are a, a limited, not, a, not super limited, I don't think, but they are more, uh, more limited than the other two dolls that were made of the characters. So you see them in this, they are cute. Uh, her hair is a little wonky. She's supposed to have these really nice, uh, this really nice big updo. So her hair is a little messed up. He looks spectacular. Again, he's got a swivel head. I'm really excited to see that. So let's, take this off. Oh, this is a monstrosity of tape back here. It is literally like they just took so much tape and just ran it the entire way across the back of the box. Because they were like, you know what? Someone's going to want to get into this. Let's make it difficult. This is not the time. They're like, yes, let's, let's take it out like this. <laughs> so it does come off. There's a little, uh, little instruction. There's a music button and a direction button, apparently. We'll get to that a little bit more later. Let's try to get all this stupid tape off. I've got a love-hate relationship with toy companies when it comes to how they package things. Because it looks really pretty from the front, but then the backs of toys are just monstrosities now. And it is just like, why is there so much emphasis on packaging these to be uh, just perfect? I'm more of a, I would rather take it out of the box and enjoy it kind of toy owners than I am a collector. Like, I love to collect, but at the same time, it is just ridiculous sometimes. Okay, so here he is. Here's the king. Again, there is a lot of yellowing on his legs. I need to hit him with a little bit of the... Uh, oh, what's it called? Probably vinyl cleaner. I don't know. He does have the same kind of shoes as the prince, so I'm going to just move them back so I can show this on camera a little bit. So, same shoes, same mold. He does have little feet, so it's not just a block of mold. So that's how that goes. He's got beautiful detailing on him, the same kind of articulation on the arms and the legs. He does have the snap knees. I'm gonna set him off to the side for a second. 
while I get Anna out of the uh, box. I am gonna take this little piece off first. And I think there's additional stands under there, or maybe just one stand, I'm not sure. But we will see. She might have a stand under her legs, under her dress, I can't really tell. But we're going to look and see. So we've got some of these that are just going to come out uh, nice and quick. Okay. Yeah, okay, she has a stand on under there. So that's great. So it does come not just with the musical stand, but also the doll stand. So that's really nice, because I thought I was gonna have to use the musical stand to display them also. Okay, so she does have cute little yellow shoes. These are the same shoes that Top 10 was wearing. Uh, so now let's take the stand out of there. Just get it. We're getting jiggy with it, y'all. No, I have no idea why I would say that. But here we go. And it does have a little stand for him also. So we're just gonna pop him in there. Boom, like that. Okay. So now, as we can see, that's the horrifying sounds that it makes. Uh, there is not an off button unfortunately. Uh, it does have really pretty detailing. You see this elephant over here on the base stand and some swirlings and your speaker from Hades is right here and uh, it does just have little tiny eyeglass screws holding that all together. There's a little wheel down here that spins it around and I did not anticipate, I brought batteries, I did not anticipate a screw opening. So I've got to grab my eyeglass screws. And just grabbed my handy dandy eyeglass screw drivers. Just these little ones. I got them at the dollar store. They're easy to, they're very helpful when you collect toys. So let's see. I don't know why you don't want to come out. There it goes. Okay. These were extra heavy duty back in the day, but it's not corroded, so that's good. That bodes well for our uh, future endeavors. I'm gonna take some uh, relatively new Energizer batteries and pop them in there and see if that makes anything sound better. I'm just gonna pop that right back in. We're just gonna screw it right in there until it goes nice and flush because this is supposed to move around. Okay, so now let's see if out of 1999 this works. No, 
that is more like it, y'all. So it really just was low batteries that were making that sound like nightmare fuel. And it is spectacular. So I didn't notice this when I first looked at it, but this base just clips in to these stands. So you just snap them in like that. And then we're gonna, I'm gonna stick her shoes on her real fast. It's just because I don't wanna display her fully without her shoes on. But these just clip in to this musical stand, which I kind of think is genius. Cause I know I have the Anastasia Waltz doll from the Once Upon a December song that plays the music that is a full doll stand that is included in it. So we do have our little little yellow flats on. And now no crinoline under here, which I find a little sad because it was kind of a, a, a funny inside joke of the movie that there were uh, such voluminous skirts. So let's see. Okay, so she just snaps in like that and she would go like that and he would go like this. And now his hands do fit hers. And they would go like this. And now, oh, and when we move the base back and forth, they spin like that. And that is great. Okay, so that is great playability features, and I love it. <laughs> Do I want to add a crinoline to her? Yes. <laughs> is it a super important thing as of right this minute? No. Do I also want to style her hair? Yes. But this is a great little stand. It is definitely worth the uh, the two AA batteries that I put into her. And now it does make me kind of curious as to what these two sound like because they sing the same song. So I'm kind of intrigued to see if they sing a matching duet or not. But they are cute. Again, here is our Tusker. And here is the royal pendant of Siam. But this doll stand, musical doll stand, I should say, is not just a regular doll stand. It has doll stands in it, but it is not a regular doll stand in the least. It is probably the coolest thing, and I really wish that I could get something like this that would also play Once Upon a December, because this is a great way to do it because you don't just rely on a motor because the battery is only powering the music. It is not powering the stand. And it is great. I love that. Like, look at that. It is great. You really do, dis do see all of the aspects of their clothes while they spin. And with the batteries replaced, it is not nightmare fuel. It is a very pretty orchestral suite that is straight out of the Rodgers and Hammerstein. So these are the King and I dolls that I have. And they are cute. I may do a second video as an update when I replace these batteries, if I can find those batteries or not. But this has been Disney D. Prince, signing out. Bye, y'all.